I got the moon card. He's gonna change it. I'm gonna change the blue star. The blue star. Daddy. I want to the one color. Can I put one color, please? Can I put one color, please? Just one color. I'm living my best life. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Man, I am so freaking tired. But you know what? The grind never ends. All right, guys. As you can see, this is what I've done. Like you've seen in my previous video, I did the Starlight Kit conversion. Um, I don't know where it started, but people see them in the Bentleys and stuff and all that. Um, the white is my favorite by far. The red is my second favorite, but white is the favorite by far. Um, guys, um, so what I have to do today is I have to actually get that conversion kit powered to my, um, powered to the, uh, battery. And then I have to finish installing this side right here. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to finish installing that side. Then I'm going to run to Walmart and get a conversion kit in some type of way. Jimmy rigged that to get it to work. I don't know why I do it. And then I still have to actually run that long cord down the pillar in the back. Back there to go into the trunk. To go where the spare tire is. To where my amp is at. All this stuff you have to do. But overall, guys, I'm in love, man. Like I said last video, huge shout out to my wife. She helped me out with 55, 50% of it. Um, she literally did this half straight down the middle. Um, but I'm loving it, man. It looks really nice. So let me put the camera down and let me start assembling this stuff over here. All right, guys, just like that, 100% done. Um, push the thing so everything works. See, everything works. Back lights. Front lights, front light. Yeah, that's pretty much good. And it's still bright in the daytime, which is crazy. I didn't think it was gonna be this bright. Uh, I still have to get a, uh, the right tool to snip these because as you can see, some is poking out. But I might just leave it like that. As long as nobody just run their hands up top of the thing it's good but uh, overall I'm happy um explain the um the actual remote is very simple it has off and on as you can see right there this turns up the brightness these are all the colors you have six seven different colors uh red green blue Yellow, light blue, pink, and white. Uh, this is the fade, guys. If uh, jump, I'm sorry, jump one, jump two, fade. And I guess these are the colors that makes it sparkle more. I'm not for sure about that. Uh, mode on, it stops it from uh, from sparkling. It's just like a solid. See how it stops? And then if I cut it on, see how it starts back. Um, this is just the motor speed, how fast they sparkle. If I do four, it should sparkle quicker. If I do one, it sparkles slower, etc., etc. So, self explanatory, guys. Um, overall, at a one to ten, 
I am very happy um, doing this. And here out in Houston, man, these this crap, this upgrade is not cheap. It's very expensive. Uh, it can range you from probably a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars to install this, because um, it's just it's just too much labor. The labor is probably a good, I would say, ten days. I mean, ten days, ten hours. Um, if you have one person doing it, but the key is for two people to do it because me and my wife knocked it out like super quick. Um, but yeah, this is one of the mods, man. I really wanted to do for a very long time and just procrastinating, man. Just didn't get it done. But look at us now. Um, so yeah, I'm finna head to Walmart, guys, and I'm about to get this power converter and I'll show y'all how I do that too as well um, but other than that I'm gonna clean up the car because it's a mess it's terosis and that's it let me show y'all how I got it powered right now so this is how it's powered so I'm still gonna do the electrical tape to all this because I don't want the wires to get cut or all right, guys, I am sweating my butt off. So finally, 100% finished. Yes, you don't see the actual ceiling going off because I ran into a little situation, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not a wiring genius, but um, I was trying to do it to a way where I cut my car off, the actual power inverter go off, I tried to hook it up to the amp, like the remote, but it wasn't enough power going through that remote because the remote is not enough power, of course. So what I had to do, I had to hook it directly up to the battery. So that means I will have to physically physically turn it off every time. But let me show you what I have to do uh, when I turn it off. So I pop your trunk, which is not a big deal um, for me. So trunk is back in, as you can see. I didn't get this fixed right here. I hate take it. I don't know why I took it off. But so, so this is the little thing right here. You know how it, in chargers it had this little flip and all this. Can y'all see it? So you see the inverter right there. All I have to do is reach my hand and like this. Look, flip this back right there, just like that. Reach my hand in, and you'll hear a click. Hear that click? So once I click it, and then I stick it, no, I'm just playing. And then the lights are officially on. Um, and I also can cut the lights off with the remote, because the remote works all the way into the car, in the cab, of course. But the problem is, I can't leave that invert on because it'll drain my battery. And as you know, I don't have locks around my car, so I would be completely locked out of my car. So. Every time I cut these lights on, I will have to physically go out there and cut the inverter off, which is no problem to me. Bam. White is my favorite, though. Look at that. So, yeah, man. I love this mod. Something I should have done a long time ago. And this is the daytime, guys. Remind you, it's, look how bright it still is. And this is the daytime. Green. Blue. Pink red and white is by far my favorite yeah so hopefully you like this video guys um upgraded i want to do for a very 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 long time but i just procrastinated and like i said guys this mod if you go somewhere here in houston it's going to range from a thousand to two thousand dollars to install this so by me installing myself i save myself a lot of money now I could have went to my interior guy. Of course, he's not going to charge me that, but I just wanted to do it anyway. I do everything myself anyway, so I didn't want to procrastinate no more, and I got it done. Now, I still have to go through and get the tool to cut these very even because some of them are pushed down because I didn't have the right tool, the wire cutters, and I do want to cut it even with the thing, and then I have to peel some of the material off from the headline i didn't do none of that yet but oh well it's gonna be like that for now but yeah so i'm vacuuming out the car and i also look guys i also added leds i got my little switch right here 
I don't know if you can see it. Got added LEDs. Red LEDs all the way around underneath the uh yeah, gotta get by. Okay, so yeah, I added real LEDs in my switches right here. But yeah, guys, this is Robert, YouTuber Budget. If you have any questions, please make sure you comment below. Tell me what you think about this mod. Um, is it overkill? I don't think it is. It just adds something to your car. Now, I haven't seen another Dodge Charger with this in here, but it is plenty of cars with this in here. And from what I heard, in a Rolls Royce, this is a um, this is a uh, eighteen thousand dollar option in Rolls Royce. And if you want this star kit, these are five hundred or four fifty. I can't remember uh, strands. I will have the link in the description below if you do want to do this. Uh, and then the other thing is, guys, make sure you click this uh, card right here so you can see how I actually installed it this is robert guys you two on the budget man y'all have a blessed day thank you for taking the time in your day spending it with me the one and only you two on the budget man and i'm keeping the budgets going man look at this save myself a thousand dollars eight hundred dollars five hundred dollars however how much it costs where you at but look that's why i call myself youtube on the budget because i'm doing everything on the budget you know what i'm saying peace Oh guys, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to tell you, this is the actual power inverter I have, and I bought this from Walmart for twenty nine dollars. So that's not bad for thirty dollars. Now it's four hundred watts. Uh, yep, pretty much. And you can hook it up to the battery or hook it up to your cigarette lighter. I chose to hook it up to the battery, of course, and that's that little thing right there. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually use this for my Apple TV as well, since I never plug it in. So now I can have it plugged in with no problem. But all right, guys. So, yeah, I forgot to have that. And I have this in the link in the description as well. Pretty sure you could buy it cheaper on Amazon or eBay. I have all that information below. Yeah.